Hey guys, Jason here at Normal Soul Sportswear, and uh, today we're going to be doing a review of the Maverick Shift uh, shoulder well, speed pad. It's the shoulder speed pad, as well as the actual shoulder pad, which is just behind me here. Um, now, you may remember that we did a big, big review on a whole load of the new spec shoulder pads um, back when the, the spec was being changed and, you know, you've now got this, um, the extra cardiac guards and all these uh, shoulder pads and speed pads. Um, we didn't review the shift ones at the time because we just didn't have them in stock. There was such a crazy rush for people in the US to go out and buy shoulder pads um, that they just, you know, they weren't available. Um, now, we actually sold, interestingly, a whole load back to the States at the time because we had stock of some of the new spec stuff um, in some lines and uh, a lot of retailers in the US just didn't have them available. Uh, interestingly, I did touch on this in the video um, when we did the original review, shoulder pads aren't mandatory here. And in many lacrosse playing countries, shoulder pads are not mandatory whatsoever. Uh, if you do use shoulder pads, you can still use the old spec stuff. So it's a real shame that, you know, um, World Lacrosse or, you know, the manufacturers didn't make it clear that when people were buying new shoulder pads in the US, they could have perhaps traded them in. I mean, it's just horrible to think of how many shoulder pads just, you know, went in in the in landfill. Um, you know, there'll be so few programs out there that were collecting them up and sending them to, you know, to, let's say, some of the African countries, you know, or uh, or other developing nations. Real real shame. Anyway, let's, let's take a look at the, uh, the pads. So a lot of people have kind of said, well, they're really bulky on the chest. They're really bulky in the chest. Now, while I stand standing, you can see, it does stick away from your chest a little bit. And um, interestingly, um, it's gonna feel a bit strange, but there's actually a big gap here. So I don't wanna show you my cleavage on, on video, but um, let's just, yeah, th there is quite a big gap. Because on the Maverick models, it's an external cardiac guard. That's what this EKG actually stands for. Cause you know, as opposed to the padding being on the inside here, a lot of their padding is on the outside of the actual pad that sits against your body. And it does sit away with this model, uh, with the shift model. And I've got to say, I think they're really comfortable. So this is obviously the speed pad, um, you know, popular with defensemen, popular with middies, and, you know, some attack guys that don't feel like they need all the extra shoulder protection. You know, this is the kind of pad they're going to be wearing. And for those people who do want like a more streamlined pad, there's something really interesting I want to show you with these pads, which I, I must admit, I only noticed this a couple of months ago, and I've been meaning to do this review for a while. We've just been a little bit busy uh, post-Christmas, and uh, you know, we've got a little bit of downtime, so I'm trying to squeeze as many uh, reviews in as possible at the moment on products we haven't yet reviewed. And what I noticed on these is you can actually make these a lot smaller. So when I mean smaller, I don't mean like tighter fitting. You can actually reduce the bulk of these pads. So I'm going to show you real quick what I mean. So if I just take them off, and I'll yank them over the top, you will see here, there are these little um, blue tabs on the sides here, okay? So both left and right, and they're actually on the back as well. And what you can do is if I just show you real quick if you wanted to create a smaller pad you can actually detach it so just popping those out yeah and end up with I'll do it on both sides because you can really see so this is the, the back of the pad and you've just taken a whole section of padding out of that. So if you do want something a bit more streamlined, and you can do the same thing on the front. So this section here, and this section here, can also be removed. So you can end up with a pad that looks an awful lot different, and a, and a lot more kind of streamlined. I mean, I, I didn't think there was anything wrong with this. I thought it was quite a comfortable pad. Um, and as I said, a lot of people have said, oh, well, they really bulky, really bulky. I just didn't find that. I didn't find it was a real, really bulky pad at all. Um, so, you know, 
quite interesting that they have that feature. So I'm just going to um, attach them again. I take them all apart, but it means kind of undoing all this bit. And But you, you, you get the idea. You know, there's a, the big piece there you can actually take out. So very, very interesting feature there by Maverick. I'm just going to pop them back together. And it is, it's quite easy to kind of unpop them. The, the only bits, the bit of a pain in the ass is, is kind of undoing the buckle and feeding it back through. But I guess, you know, it's... Um, if you want a more streamlined pad, you're going to stick, you know, you're going to spend five minutes, you know, taking it all apart. And um, as I said, comfort wise, it's a really, really, you know, comfortable pad. You know, it's got the coverage you want if this is the sort of shoulder pad or speed pad or liner. You know, they refer to it in a couple of different names. But, um, you know, if that's the sort of pad that you want, they're actually a really nice pad. Now, they're, they're not cheap. They are, you know, one of the most expensive pads on the market. So, you know, that is worth um, sort of bearing in mind that, you know, if you like this pad, you feel it's comfortable, you know, you like the protection it offers, you know, just accept the fact you have to kind of dip into your pocket. But um, as with most, you know, lacrosse protection, you know, you get what you pay for. Now, again, you know, they, they are, you know, able to customise them. So if you can't... Kind of, a thicker guy, if you like. Um, you, know, you can change the position of the shoulder bit here. Uh, maybe I'll just throw them back on and I'm going to just show you that. But, um, there we go. Oh, I'm folding for the back. There we go. But you can see here, you, know, you can change this here. I mean, I'm quite a big guy, you know, and I don't feel like I need to move them back, but um, if you are one of those absolutely colossal humans that play lacrosse, um, I'm glad I don't have to, 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 to go against you. But, um, you know, if you do find that it's it's kind of a little bit restrictive, kind of front to back, you know, you could drop this back a bit further, you know. And there's a fair bit... I do find some models of shoulder pads that are large, a bit snug. These are large and fine, and there's there's loads of extra strap there. So again, if you are just a huge human being, um, as I said, I'm not small, but I'm not. You know, I wouldn't say I'm huge. There's a fair bit of play in the straps there. So you know, if you are a monster, then you will get these on. So we're going to have a quick look at the shoulder pad. I, I, I got to admit, I can't see that the shoulder pad is going to be. An awful lot different in the way it feels. But we'll get rid of these ones for a moment. Uh, we will take a look. So we'll lose those there for a moment. Make sure those are all, oh, they're a medium. Let's get a pair of large out. So, I mean, you can see there's not an awful lot of difference. It's essentially the same pad with this and that. Now, I have said in the past, some of, there have been a couple of Maverick pads I've tried on where this bit here is a bit tight. So let's just, um, oh, you know what, let's just make him a little bit bigger. But let's just throw him on. Of course, you don't need to throw them over your head like that. I'm just kind of being lazy because... There is this buckle kind of fit in here. And I've got to say, I do like the buckle bits as opposed to the Velcro, because the Velcro does tend to kind of snag on your uniform and snag on your undershirt. And again, you know, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all across here. And you can see here, I've, you know, I've got this extra bit of coverage here, this extra bit of coverage. And for a full shoulder pad, you know what? I, I can't say I would normally wear, you know, well, as I said, we don't have to wear shoulder pads here. So personally, I don't wear shoulder protection at all. Um, but I can actually get these on. So if you do want that extra bit of sort of protection there on your bicep, you know, you've got it and I can get that on, you know, fairly comfortably. There's still room there. So, um, you know, if I did have huge arms and got back in the gym, those are the days, once upon a time. Um, 
but uh, you know, there is a bit more room there. Maybe a little bit snug, but certainly a bit more room than the last uh, Maverick shoulder pads I tried on, which I just found a bit restrictive on here. But um, got the extra coverage, but they basically feel exactly the same as the, the speed liners with a little bit of extra protection. Uh, and again, same sort of features. You can strip a lot of this stuff off if you want, but if you're gonna wear a full shoulder pad, you know, you, you're keeping that on, aren't you? Let's face it. Um, but they're really comfortable, you know, so I've got to say it's a big thumbs up. And, um, you know, again, they're not cheap, you know, so they are on the top end of the shoulder pad um, uh, you know, pricing, really. But it's a comfortable pad. So if you're in the market for a pair of shoulder pads, definitely worth checking out these uh, these new shift um, shoulder pads. Um, if I did wear shoulder pads, you know, I'd definitely go for the uh, the speed pad over the full pad. But, you know, they are a very, very comfortable pad.